This video was created to help the HVAC professional install and maintain TACO equipment. Please read the on-screen disclaimer before viewing this video. Hi everyone, my name is John White. This is Peter Machado. We're from TACO Incorporated. Hello everyone. Standing behind us we have a KS8013 pump. Now the KS series of pump that can come with one of two kinds of seals. There's an internal seal and an external seal. Today we're going to show you how to change both of them. And we're going to show you how easy and simple it is to change both of them. Hi, today we're going to change the outside seal of uh, KS8013. First thing we're going to do is take the safety guard off. A couple of screws hold it on. Take the flush line out. It's being held by six screws. Take three out on each side. Now we rotate it and we'll take the other three screws out. Keeping everything intact so you can go. Now we're gonna split the coupler in half. There's two halves to it, nice and gentle. You got two circuit keys, very important when you assembled it. Two more circular keys and two drive keys. All right. Now we'll take the uh, seal off. Very important to keep the seal face clean. When you take it off, just in case you're going to reuse it, or when you're putting on a uh, new one. All right. We're going to go after, and we're going to take the uh, seal cover off now. seal cover is very important because that's where the seat is and we want to make sure we keep that clean if we're going to reuse it. If not, then it's not a big deal. We'll put a new one. Also, we have an O-ring that's very important to make sure it goes back on when you uh, go, go put it back on the pump. All right. We're going to remove the seat. There's a little clip that you can see right here. Just clip it and it'll come right out. very very important then we can press the seat out and that's it the proper way to put it back again is we're going to re repeat the same steps we just did we're going to get some silicone and we're going to apply it on the two o-rings very lightly put it in place And we'll do the same thing to the seat. Right around here, get the O-ring nice and greased up. Get it in place, pop it in. Just in case you got any on the seal face, make sure you clean it real nice. Try not to get any on the seal face. Then we'll grab the snap ring, put it back in place. Same scenario. Okay, went in nice and easy. Now we're ready to proceed putting everything back. Line it up, both bolts. Socket, open end, whatever you can get your hands on and just snug it up. Same thing, you can work on both sides. All right. Now we're ready to put the seal. Very important when you put replacing the seal, lubricate the O-ring a little bit so it's not over lubricated so it doesn't go on the seal faces. Again, a little bit of silicone, just a tab, go around nice and easy, evenly. Put the seat in. And the purpose of that is because you have a key right here and you don't want to cut that O-ring. You don't want to, no, no, uh, if you do, you'll have a leak. 
and the seal's in place now, you can proceed to put the couples together. A nice way to do it is make sure that you line up the motor shaft with the coupling shaft, the impeller shaft. You can put the bottom key in on the bottom here, or you can leave it in the, in the aluminum couple the way I have it. But it's important to have the circular keys here because we're going to actually lift the whole pump up. This is our working height. Line it up. A block of wood, a small pry bar, and just pick the coupler up and it fits right in. Now when it fits in, you will feel it. Not only did it go in, but you'll be able to turn the pump around. If you can't turn the pump, you know you're not in there. It's got to turn, it's got to turn freely. All right? So once you've done that and you feel comfortable, you grab the couple on the back and you do this, repeat the same steps. Now you can proceed by putting the six bolts in. And so to balance the pump up, we put three one way and three the other way. So we'll put three, three screws in on one side here. And then we'll put the other three screws the opposite way. So when you look at it, you got three nuts that are going to be here and three screws that are going to be here. Like so. So now you got a perfect match. Now you can proceed by going back and putting a couple of line back. Making sure that it's in there. Don't over tight the couple of line. It's a flush line. It doesn't have to be overly tight. Just as long as it doesn't leak. This way in case you have to get it out, you can because you can over compress. Make sure that the space is evenly on both sides. This is tight. This is real wide. And the way you get that to be evenly is by tightening these screws here. So we'll tighten these screws here. Once you've done that, you should have a nice space on this side, a nice space on that side, evenly. Now you know you've done everything right. The last thing to do, tighten the screws on the seal. Once you've done that, remove, remove the pins, the brass pins. That will set your working height of the seal. And you're all set. Now we've got to put the couple of uh, guard on. And that's it. And that's how easy it is to change a seal. An external seal, internal seal, we'll see next. Thank you. Visit us online for more support and information on the full line of Taco systems and components. Thanks for watching.